Okay, this is uh, the digital signal processing board, DSP board, and uh, there's a connection here, that's a stereo line, imp uh, line coming out from uh, the computer actually, just playing music. And then this output wire is going to the speaker amplifier. So it's just playing whatever's coming in, uh, it's going back out. Uh, and this board is wired to that. And uh, this is the programmer for it. So you can program the DSP chip with this. Uh, so yeah, this ribbon cable just goes into into here. I've just wired it up there. And this programmer has got a USB connection to the PC and I'm running some software which uh, allows you to uh, configure the DSP thing. So if I go there, you can see uh, this is the music source, obviously. And uh, this is the design. So it's one audio output and I just connect it up. I just drag from the left hand side. There's lots of different options here, uh, like echo, uh, hopefully there's like loudness, echo cancellation, other things like that. Uh, anyway, so I drag one of those here and then I connect it to the output. And I could do stereo as well if I wanted to, but I've just done this for now. And then I can do stuff like this. So that's all in real time. And the idea is once you've designed something, like you could do filters or whatever, then you go over here to hardware configuration, right click on this and go right to E squared prom. And if I click this OK, then it permanently programs it into that green board. Uh, so then you don't need the computer anymore. You don't then need a, you don't need this, you don't need this programmer board anymore. And then you can just wire that up to a power supply, five volts in this case, and connect up to an input and output, and it'll always do that. Uh, if I just go back to this thing here, static. And then carry on adjusting it. So yeah, that's what I've done so far, but there's obviously more things you can do. And in fact, instead of, you could actually wire this so that instead of having to do it on the computer, uh, there's like an adjustable knob that you could control to do it without the computer. And that's possible as well.